Dustin Ryder with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here, and now welcome back to the Common Rider Build Reviews. As mentioned in the Lupin Ranger, Pat Ranger Reviews, we were on hiatus because I had so many reviews and Power Rangers news things to focus on, so um, those of you that watch these videos, I appreciate you know you enjoying them and wanting to see them back. But they're back, and hopefully I should be on schedule for this last little, little stretch for build. And then pretty soon, guys, we're going to be doing the, the series review, and we're going to be getting into Geo, so anyway... Um, I would say Build had some really light, fillery, just all around fun for the family episodes these last two. No, but it's like the opposite of Lupin Ranger. Like, Lupin Ranger was like, oh, fillery and fun, sort of. And then Build was like, death and crying. Um, so 47 was Grease's um, death for now, which was a very well done episode. Um, it was right after his debut of Blizzard Form, which was the last thing I talked about. And... It's funny because I kind of heard rumblings like in the fandom of like somebody seeming like somebody died and, and there was, you know, people like having the feels, you know, those stuff. And I'm like, oh, it probably won't get me. I, they didn't say it was Grease, but I assumed, um, you know, logic reasoning. I have my little coffee here. So my mouth doesn't dry out. I'm sorry. It's from the Loot Crate. Watch those videos. No one does. No, I'm just kidding. This isn't a pity party. It's just sad. Anyway, God, I'm sorry, guys. So distracted. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Grease. Um, so, and then when it happened, like, when it became obvious it was gonna happen, he started Thanosing. I was like, oh, this isn't gonna get me, you know, like, oh, it's sad, it's, it's, being, it's being well done-ish, but I'm not really that. And then, Misora's reaction. Everything about, not just, Misora's ac actress, just kudos. Honestly, everybody's reaction. I mean, there was a little bit over the top, like, punching balls at the end, but very well done. Like, I could feel the emotional bond amongst the group, um... And so her reaction, not to mention just the dialogue between them, like with the, you know, the relationship, how she never calls him uh, Kazumi, which is funny. Like, I don't mean funny. Like, I mean, I do. Because I don't know if anyone's noticed. No one's called me out on it, which I'm surprised because people call me out a lot of my little mistakes. But I never call him Kazumi. I'm always like, oh yeah, Sento and Banjo or Ryuga and then Grease. Because I could never remember this dude's name, which is weird because uh, his character in Kiva is my favorite writer of all time. Spoiler alert if I ever do that video. Um... But I could never remember this dude's name. Like, so I'd always call him Grease. So it was kind of funny in that bit. But yeah, that was so well done. And then the one he faded and the use of silence. There was a lot of really good, like, filmmaking stuff in these last couple episodes. Um, and it was just very, very well done. Like, I was like, oh, they're not going to get me. And then the reactions. And then I got, you know, a lump in my throat. I was like, damn it, you got me. Because that very rarely happens for me with, with Toku. Sip. Um... Then we got um, another death in that episode, which was like Mad Rogue, who re 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 betrayed. Like it's funny, I talked about last couple times I reviewed uh, Build how I felt he'd been underutilized. Like after he did his re re betrayal and became Mad Rogue, he just kind of faded away to the background until he became like a temporary vessel for evil. And um, I was like, yeah, he's just being really underutilized. I guess it was just to get the toys out there. But then now it's like, haha, re 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 betrayal. And we're like, oh, he's an android because he got rebuilt, you know? So he sacrificed himself. He didn't like fully join like the side of good. He didn't pull a mad rogue. He didn't get like shirts. He just, or not a mad rogue, regular rogue, uh, get shirts and redemption and fun and dressing like he's out of Greece too. Because he basically was still just loyal to, you know, the whole the Namba children cult. Which was like, basically he's like, look, our goals are different, but also the same. So let's fight together. And then he done got killed. And there was like a savage moment where Evil like shook off the, um, the metal parts from when he stabbed him. So that definitely wasn't as sad. Um, but, and then, you know, Sento and Ryugo were kind of barely in that episode in a way. Because you just kind of saw a couple scenes of them running up the stairs fighting henchmen. And then, of course, the reaction at the end. Then that leads us into this week's, which was um, Rogue's death for now. I don't know if I'm doing that. I just feel like people are going to come back, which I'll get to in a second. But they're all fighting evil, trying to stop this. Um, and Rogue, you know, makes his final stand, which I, I did... I don't think I got quite as upset at Grease's in a way, just because, which is weird because I like Rogue better. He might be my favorite. I'm not sure. Um, but there was a couple, like, special moments in there. Like, of course, we get our, our broken helmet scene, which is always fun to see. Um, but 
you know, when he was fighting and you could hear all the people cheering Kamen Riders on, it reminded me of the scene in Kuryuju, if you've watched it, when they cheer them on. But I thought it was a really, I got like a chill for a second because it was cold. No, but it was a really neat scene, I thought specifically, not just of like everyone supporting the Riders, but I think for Gentoku because he just wants, he's like, at the end of the day he's passionate about helping his people, even if he went about it in the wrong way, and I feel like this was one of the first moments I really not got that character, like, I got it, like, I get what he's about, but I really sort of was into what his character was about and what he wanted, and, um, I thought that was a really nice moment, uh, there was a really neat, like, shot of, right before he, he dusted, um, of, like, he was detransformed and he was, like, reaching out and there was a shadow of him in the rogue suit behind him as he fell, it was really, really cool. I did get a little, a little sad, you know, just because I liked his character, but I, I'm gonna, I think him and Grease will be back. Which, this sounds weird to say, but it's kind of a shame because, you know, it makes the, it less count less. Although, maybe one of them won't survive, or maybe, like, they'll come back different because they're, like, merging the worlds. Who knows? Um, but regardless, it was well done. It was kind of sad for the second we believed that, um, that his death didn't mean anything because he didn't accomplish anything. But then it turned out he actually damaged, uh, Evolt's trigger. And so they got the plan enacted, and then Bonjo sacrifices himself to, to jettison Evolt into, um, like, the eye of the storm to seal this, this deal. Um, which I was happy about just because, not like that he might die too, I don't, I think he'll survive. If, you know, there's only one that survives this, these last three episodes of, especially since we didn't see it actually fully happen yet, it'll be him. But it was really funny because actually, right before this episode started, I was thinking about how, what was the point of making Bonjo so tied to evil that just ultimately really didn't amount to that much that couldn't have been accomplished in a different way. But then I like that they brought it back here. So, you know, obviously we know uh, that we have next week's episode, we're going to see evil and stuff, so something is going to happen and, and, and all that. But it was a very well done set of episodes. I was really happy with it. Really some great, great scenes, um, great kind of emotional payoff here in this final stretch. So I've very much been enjoying these last few episodes. I'm looking forward to seeing our last little bit here. Um, you know, I'm gonna miss build, but I'm looking forward to to new stuff. I'm interested to see how it ends and all that, all that you know, boilerplate stuff. But overall, I give honestly, I'd probably I'm just gonna give both episodes a nine. I kind of want to objectively say nine for the grease one and 8.5 for this one, but I'll just say overall they were very very good. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get the notification for all my videos. And hopefully, there won't be any more delays for at least a few weeks for superior time reviews. Anyway, thanks for your patience. Dawson Ryder, signing out, which I might have said twice.